welcome back to another train simulator video. So you need to be fully set with coal before you begin the trip. Many visitors are interested to see this process. So we're doing something fairly special today. We are on the Isle of Wight Steam Railway and we're going to be going from Haven Street over to Ride Pier Head in a steam train joining with the island line. So it's going to be quite cool. Let's first get the train set up. Uh, can I get a headlamp on the back? Mm, nope, we'll leave that for now. Set that to that, that goes like that. Haven Street coal loading, which is just there. All the points set correctly as well, so I don't want to crash straight away. Uh, yep, they look all good to me. Um, I'm going to change that one already as well. Right, let's get going. There are coaches there, the southern coaches. Right, let's so go into the coal loading area. We're in the Invincible. Some say it's invincible. Stop. That'll do, won't it? Um. Oh, three foot. Really? Okay, forward a little bit. Go on. I know the brakes are still on just to move us forward very slowly. Do I need, oh, I need to press T. Hang. There we go. That's going up. There's the coal there. You can see the coal going up. Right, you are now fully stuck with coal. A couple of the carriages waiting at the up platform at the front of your engine. You will need to manually set the points using the 2D map, which we've already done. Unless it's changed it again. Which hopefully it hasn't changed it, as we haven't set it. There we go. Right, off we go. Well, to ride Pier Head in a steamer. Something that doesn't happen... Well, I don't know when the last time it sort of happened. It probably has never happened. Or did the steam railway used to be linked up with the island line? That could have ended badly there. Hopefully it doesn't spat us doing this. It shouldn't do. No, we're all good. Probably bring that down. There we go. A little fair on over there. You got another. What they call a pist steam piston engine or something like that? A steam road something. A road steamer? <laughs> I don't know. Here we are at Haven Street. So yeah, this is the Isle of Wight Steam Rail, which I do hope in future we do see on Train Sim World. It seems like something which would be sort of doable. Right. I mean, it's only like four miles extra. Even if it literally there was no trains on it, it's still, it's there. You know, just future. Can I couple that? Slightly further. Should be able to couple it from. Um... Oh, we'll do that then. There we go, that's on there. Let the VIP passengers board her at Haven Street before setting off a ride. Cool, now we wait. Now, can I get a bloody lamp on the back? No, I can't. For some reason, we're not getting a lamp. How does that going on to that bit? No, we just don't seem to get a lamp. Oh, well, <laughs> we won't. We'll be lampless. That shouldn't really be on there, should it? Got the little passenger view, there's a little personnel carrier. Which is diesel, I think. Right, everyone is now boarded. Next up, Smallbrook Junction. Let's go. On our way towards... Right pier head, I think. Off we go. Cool. Out of uh, Haven Street. Goodbye, Haven Street. See you next time. It's a nice little line, though, the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. One of the lines I actually have been on. Back in 2014, I went on this. 
Yeah, you can see where we are. So this is hey, this is Smallbrook Junction, literally just here, um, and that's Wooten there. Literally just that. That is the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. So that's the same distance as going. I suppose near enough the same distance as going from Smallbrook down to Shanklin. Probably more Smallbrook down to Sandown. Just extra. That'd be great. Oh, up the gate. Keep it as it is at the moment. Here we are, peer bound. Let's get a um, let's get a screenshot as we make our way towards the pier head in the Invincible. We're doing Smallbrook Junction in 10 minutes. And then from Smallbrook Junction, well, it's about 20 minutes. 20 minutes to uh, ride Pier Head. As we uh, chaff our way along. Cool. Good stuff. Long Arch Bridge in just over one and a half mile. Oh, you might notice a slight blip there, but he had to uh, pause the uh, recording. We're still continuing up. In fact, no, we're going just flat, I think. Oh, we're going up. I think we might be going up. The farmer's working uh, quite a bit. There we are. So yeah, it's a fairly short railway, the um, Isle of Wight Steam Railway. Probably one of the shorter, well, I wouldn't say one of the short, but it's only, yeah, it's four or five miles, I think. Yeah, about four or five miles, uh, the Steam Railway. So we join up with the main running line at Smallbrook Junction. You can sort of this, this little connector here, which I don't think is in... Train to the Train to Mar 2 version, nor possibly in real life. Maybe it used to be there. Uh, this route came out in 2012, so it might, it might have been there before. Or maybe it's just for this scenario they've connected it. Cool. Yeah, sit back and just enjoy, enjoy the scenery on this very old Train Sim route. Which this bit actually don't look too bad, but once it's sort of Haven Street to Wooten, it looks really old and not so good, but this bit don't look too bad. I suppose if you want the Steam Railway, you get the train sim version. Well, they've got to get the train sim wild one as well. Well, get the train sim wild version if you like it, enjoy it, and you want to explore more of the Isle of Wight, get this version, well, primarily for the Steam Railway. Or what you could do is, if you're if you haven't got the old Isle of Wight on Train Sim World, you could get the 484 version, which gives you the modern Isle of Wight. Then get this for the 483 and the Steam Railway for about ten quid. Right, I think we're coming up on Ashy. I literally haven't touched the controls in a little while, I'm just letting it do its thing. 100% throttle, 30% on the uh, regulator, no 30% on the reverser, well 100 reg, 30 on the reverse. This is Ashy, I don't think there's a lot here. Here we go. Take the throttle off. Uh, a little bit of brakes might be needed. Where's the brake gauge on here? Is there even a working brake gauge on here? Oh, there it is. There, I think. 
Yeah, I think that's the one there. Cool. Race is still coming off a little bit. They kind of way down. Is anyone volunteer on the Isle of Wight Steam Railway? Where's our farmen? <laughs> They're not there, they vanished. They saw me drive and they were like, no. Not happening. That should hold the brakes at where they are. So it should be alright. I'm going to take them off just a little bit. Cool. We are now just over a mile from Smallbrook Junction. You can see it does come down very, very slowly. And that's just sort of the little tunnel there is. Because I don't put the lights on when you go through here. So the first time, well, when I went on the Isle of Wight Steam Rail, which was a little while ago, um, it's all, all all of a sudden unexpectedly goes all dark. You're like, hang on, what's going on? But it's literally just this bridge. It's not really a tunnel. Or is it a tunnel? I suppose it is. Oh, it's a tunnel. I mean, London Road Tunnel is like a tiny tunnel. And that counts. Long Arch Bridge. Still going downhill. In we go. Yes, yeah, so you get about 10 seconds of darkness. It's uh, hang on. <laughs> Who's switched the lights off? in the front coach on the um, passenger view. You will now be joining the Island Line route. Well, not just yet. A little bit ahead of uh, the game there. Still not even at Smallbrook Junction. And right St John's, right Esplanade. And right Pier Head. At 26 past, so we've got about 15 minutes. Which, yeah, hopefully when this video is going out, it might not be exactly today, but I might, uh, hopefully it should have gone to the Isle of Wight, possibly. So yeah, look out for some sort of, well, look out for the 484 videos and stuff. What's that say on there? I suppose it's the box. No. Something, something on the side. That's like the signal at the end of the platform screen. Yeah, coming up to Smallbrook Junction. So this is from the Steam Railway side, this is. You'll see the other line over there in a sec. Uh, it's probably actually there, where that tree line is. But joining up to that. It might actually even be closer, actually. Well, it's, it's near. A bit of break on. So we should see the other line because on train sim well you can see the line like the steam railway just through the trees. Got the speed in. Oh, we're on minus points. Come on. Would it be nice to try and get positive points, but I don't think that's going to happen. Fair enough. There's the other line there. There we are, Smallbrook Junction. 
which looks much more barren. There's <laughs> not a lot going on, is there? And then it comes to a stop. Here we are. Yes, I'm pretty certain on train. Well, I think in real life, so you can't go onto the uh, onto that line now. It doesn't connect up. Although on this version, it does. Which I suppose is quite cool. Now you get a bit more to tinker with, and obviously you can see the third rail here. As the island line is electrified. Isle of Wight Steam Railway. Isle of Wight. Well, yeah. That's pretty much the only reason why Smallbridge Junction is here. Literally, there's nowhere else you can go from Smallbridge Junction. It literally just is for the Steam Railway. So I don't hope to get off here and go and find a nice little quaint village. Lovely. Large crowds have gathered. So oh, lovely. They're all waiting for us to overshoot or something. Very nice of them. Here we go. Joining out of the uh, of the island line. Exciting stuff. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't come to a stop. No, hang on. What the brakes are still on? <laughs> Why on earth are they still on? I swear I released them. Sorry, passengers. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're all. Don't know. Off we go. Now to 45 miles an hour. That's not bad, is it? I doubt we actually get to that, but. That up even more. And we're off. Onto the uh, onto the island. There we go. There's the connection, which I don't think does exist in real life. Quite cool running a steamer on this line though. It also feels weird seeing it on on Train Simulator. As actually just earlier I was playing it on <laughs> Train Sim World. It won't have the new water on here, that's for sure. It's not a fast loco, but then it's not built for speed. An invisible bridge there. It's going, oh no. Uh, yep, yeah, we're just an invisible bridge, as you do. One of us here, 483. As yeah, on this game, as opposed to Train Sim World, well, and I keep saying, I, I always compare. Train to train, train, train simulator, but the 483 N here is um, very, very old. <laughs> it originally, I don't think, had rain effects on the windows. There's, there's not a lot to it. There's one there. Cool. Although the AI do have working headlights. So that's a one up on TSW. Well, everyone's um, gathered here. You got all of. That goes very quickly. Brakes on. Uh oh. No, we're all good. We're all good. It's all under control ish. Here we are, right, St. John's. Where are the crowds? 
I think it's because they, they knew I was driving, so they, they probably just were like, no, nah, they're probably not going to arrive. Well, we're here. We proved them wrong. What are you doing over here? Come over and get on the train. They don't really look like the type who would be getting on the train. You know, you're going to go to a nightclub. <laughs> well, maybe that's why they're getting on the train. You, I don't know. But, yeah, let's talk about you. So you're going to a meeting. <laughs> and you're dressed up smartly as well. This guy seems like the most likely person to be getting on. He's all dressed up smartly for the occasion, ready to go. There are many spectators watching your journey. Next up, right, Esplanade. The brakes are fully. There we go. Ooh, the brakes are released and it takes a while. I don't know if you can get wheel slip on this train, so let's just get going. And we're off. Twenty miles an hour along this bit. A little bit of break, just a little bit. There it goes. Look at that. I wonder if this actually is how it has ever happened. I suppose probably not. Could be wrong though. And round into right tunnel. Look at that. Oh, there's the uh, case. You've come to spectate or witness the steam train going to ride pier head. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you go that way quick. We've still got positive points. Not for long, though. Actually, we're about to go uphill, so possibly we might keep those points. So it'll be much harder to speed. Right, come on, Spudge, crush you go. Don't go on the keyboard. Go. Should make a turn in a second up towards uh, Ride Esplanade. Get the throttle on just a little bit. Through the dark, scary tunnel. Out we go. I guess this used to happen, though. Once upon a time, you'd have um, steamers going up onto the pier. There's a hovercraft and the old livery. Well, I think that's pretty good, isn't it? You got one out there as well. Here we are, ride Esplanade. I think we're arriving on time. I think it's a 26 at the pier head. Which, well, should be alright. Hang on, hang on. Uh, oh no. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. As long as the coaches are still on. Yeah, no, that's fine. There you go, the passengers can still get off. So you just whizzing into the stations on the 4 I mean, to be honest, we are stood on the platform, just slightly past the barrier. And there's the pier. Although the water on here actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, the water's actually not too bad on the uh, on train sim. I mean, you can't say they don't look bad, bad, does it? Oh, is that actually coming? Is that moving? Oh, it is as well. Cool, right finish but right pier head. See that's something I would have liked to see on the Train Sim World 2 version, although I don't think that's gonna be happening. That's a reverse running out of coal, I think. Oh no, that's on that side. Oh 
Right onto the pier. Off we go. I don't know we're going too quick. Looks really bloody knackered on it, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that. It's very unstable. Hello everyone. Everyone's gathered on the pier to see us. How very nice of them. Right, we can't be overshooting the pier, otherwise we're going to go in the sea. In the Solon. I want to say at the pier head. Cool. And let's coast it. Get the brakes on a little bit. And here we are, Ride Pier Head. That was a cool journey from Haven Street. Sound completely different, which uh, we have done before. Right, we can't screw up here. We have to stop before the buffer. Doesn't really matter where we stop, I guess. Obviously, this was nearer to the. Well, there's not even a buffer here. We'll just stop. We'll let the train come to a stop. In fact, we'll just put the brakes on now. There is no buffer, so. There we go. Welcome to Ride Pier Head. That wasn't bad at all, was it? Not bad at all. Well, that is going to be every... Oh, hello. I don't oh, know. It does exist. <laughs> I was saying it looked like it just went to the end here. Well, that is going to be everyone for today's train simulator video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>